Rosemary Wright meeting Prince Charles last week an insurance company has had a rethink and agreed to cover the cost of damage to a flood-stricken business after an apparent intervention by Prince Charles. The Belfast Telegraph highlighted the royal's promise to Rosemary Wright, who runs a beauty clinic in Eglinton, Co-Londonderry. Rosemary, who owns Ashburn Images Health and Beauty Clinic, was among victims of the flood who met Charles in the village last Friday. She told him how her woes were being exacerbated by her insurance company's refusal to cover the cost of the damage to her salon and equipment. Rosemary told this newspaper that Charles asked her for the name of the insurance company and promised to see what he could do to help. Just two days after the story appeared in the Belfast Telegraph, Ms. Wright's insurance broker contacted her to say the firm had now agreed to pay up. A delighted Ms. Wright said that while she cannot be 100% sure this was because of an intervention by Prince Charles, she believes it is more than a coincidence. And she has written to thank him regardless. Rosemary said the law suggester who works for the insurance company rang me and said she saw the coverage of my meeting with Prince Charles and that he took the name of the insurance company. She didnt say that Prince Charles had contacted the company, but she did say they were now going to cover the cost of my losses. For two months they kept saying no, 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 then after I say in the paper that Prince Charles said he would intervene and asked for the name of the company they suddenly say yes. Rosemary Wright I haven't had any confirmation from Clarence House that they did intervene, but I wrote to Prince Charles and recollected everything that happened in Eglinton since the flood and told him how much he boosted everyone's morale by coming to see us. I also told him that my insurance company has now agreed to pay out and thanked him for his effort. She added I threw in a wee line telling him that when I get all my work done I will write to him again and ask him to come and cut the ribbon at the grand reopening. Belfast Telegraph